pray the blessing of peace and health and strength for you. Whatever you're going through right now, this comes to wish you well, to pray wellness and blessing, guidance and protection for your day and for your week and life ahead. Today's text is very simple. It comes from the book of Nahum. It's an old text. And chapter 1, verses 7. It simply says this. The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And knows those who put their trust in him. The Lord. The Lord. Who is the Lord? The Lord, the great law of the universe, is good. This is the evidence for good. Whatever comes your way, I want you to know this, to hold to this truth that the Lord the great law of the universe is good. Whatever else is happening around you, whatever else you think is happening to you, even whatever else you think is happening within you, above you, below you, hold to this fact, to this truth, as evidence the Lord The great law of the universe is good. That word is, is a present tense. Never changes, not might be, not will be, not shall be. Whatever else the Lord is, present tense, the Lord is good. The great law of the universe is good. This we can dwell in, this we can abide in, this we can trust. And when we put our trust and our confidence in this truth, it brings us into the present moment. It takes us from wondering. And the problem, why many are ill and many are worried and many depressed or feeling oppressed is because they're not dwelling in the present moment. Where are you right now? Have you come out of this moment thinking what happened yesterday, what might happen tomorrow? That is the reason many are not healed straight as you pray for them, because they're remembering the pain before the prior. They're remembering the diagnosis that the doctor gave maybe two months, maybe four years ago. They have well forgotten. In fact, many do not know that the body renews itself over a period of time. So after 13 weeks, you are not the same. Your cells are always changing. New cells are replacing the older cells. And the reason it continues, or what we call a chronic disease, is because you haven't changed our mindset. So the cells has no new information, but the old Information is passing to the new cell and we have the same experience, the same diagnosis. But we can change our prognosis for our everyday situation when we trust, when we know, when we are in the present moment with the knowing that life, God, is for us and that life, God is good. The Lord is good. I love Nahum chapter 1 and verse 7 because there are many things we could say. If you read the above verses, the Lord is jealous, the the Lord is is angry, I don't know. But there is something. There was a songwriter said, there is something wonderful about you. Yes, there is something great, there is something perfect. And this, it's lies in this truth that the Lord, mm -hmm, the great law of the universe, to which everything under the sun and above the sun, under the earth and on the earth, 
takes order from, and that is the great law of the universe, the Lord. And it's all its perfection. It is good. It is good. It is good. Undeniably good. Yesterday good. Today good. Tomorrow good. How do I know that? How can you say that implicitly without doubt? Because is is the present tense. Tomorrow to yesterday's is remains today is and will tomorrow be the same as it is right in this very moment. So what we need to do to release the word medicine, to release this truth in our present situation is to become a very present. When you are present in the present moment, you're absolutely releasing the power of that moment. The power of that moment is the truth that life is. Life is. Life never was. Life always is. I love the scripture that uh, the Master Jesus, yeah, he says, um, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Recognizing that saying, yesterday, the same. Today, the same. Tomorrow, the same. How? Could he say that? Because he was living in the present moment. He was seeing himself in the present moment, knowing that the present moment, the present moment is unchangeable. Unchangeable. Why? Because this present moment is life. The pre this present moment is God. That's right. And when we dwell in the present moment, in the knowing that this present moment, life itself is good. God, Lord, the Lord, the great law of the universe is good. It says then, let's go on to see what it says. It says, therefore, it becomes a stronghold in the day of trouble. So I'm not saying that there isn't trouble all around because, yeah, you know, the, even some song says, scripture says, trouble will come. Days of tribulation will come. Disaster will come, not even natural disaster, things that we, we pray and wish would not happen. Sometimes these things come, but the truth remains. The great law of the universe that is present, that is good, says in, get it, in the day of trouble, the Lord is good. Within that day, in the recognizing of it and coming into the sanctuary, coming into the safety of that truth that the Lord is good. So I don't know what's happening to your situation right now, but get into the stronghold. Stay into the shelter of the word. He that abided in the secret place. The secret place is this place of goodness. Oh yes, the Lord is good. It is a sanctuary. And make no doubt about it. The rest of the verse says, and he know it. The day, the day of the Lord. Yeah, a stronghold in the day of trouble. The Lord knows everything because the Lord is present. The great law of the present is of, of, of the universe is ever present with us. Is ever present with us because the, the day is. What am I saying? Today is a, is a Sunday, obviously. You might not be listening to this on a Sunday, but today is a Sunday. Regardless of it being a Sunday, or maybe you're listening to it tomorrow, which would be a Monday, the great law of the universe hasn't shifted to say tomorrow. The great law of the universe is as it's always been, present. Do you get me? The, the presence of the Lord, the great law of the universe is ever present because of that word is. Is is a present tense. It's unmovable. It's unchangeable. It's invincible. It's incredible. Oh yes, the Lord is. The great law of the universe is. And he knoweth. He knows. If you trust, you can't fool life. You can't fool life. You can't fool the Lord. The great law of the universe is everywhere, everywhere, every time before you get there. The great law of the universe that dwells in your in, in your knowing, in, in its knowing of what you're thinking, knows whether you're worried. So whether you might say to me, thank you, I believe and I trust. 
the great law of the universe that changes not because, as I said, it is, knows. If today you're going to say, I believe, but when something happened tomorrow and you get a pain, are you going to still say, I am healed, I am well? Scripture says, let the weak say, I am poor. Let the, yes, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. How can I say that? Because I am conscious that the law, the great law of the universe is good. Always issuing good. This is the evidence for life. This is the evidence for good, that it is always good. Good is unchangeable. We might say, because we just look at things on the physical form, well, this apple is good. But if I leave it here for a month, I'm going to come back and say this apple is not good. Because it's dealing with things of the matter that breaks down. But a truth, which is the great law of the universe, which is, is present, never changes. Never gets destroyed. It is as fresh today as it ever was. So therefore, in the day of trouble, the Lord is. Within the day of trouble is the truth. Is the truth on that now moment that the Lord is good. You can apply this evidence, whatever you're going through, whatever situation you're in, at any time of day or night, any time of the season, whether it's spring or summer or autumn or winter, whether your diagnosis, they say it is a chronic um, life, life threatening. No, it, you can change it by coming into the present moment and saying, do you know what? Mm, the great law of the universe is God. I know that yesterday was not, I didn't experience God. I know that tomorrow some things might come. But you know, right now in this present moment, I'm going to hold to this truth that the law, the great law of the universe is good. And that law is what I will abide by. That's what I will cause to live and flow through my nerves, through my vein. This is what I will hold in my awareness today. Okay, so you say that at two minutes past 12. We say that at... 20 minutes past 12, we say that at half past 12, we say that at quarter to one, we say that at one o'clock, we say that at quarter past one, we say that at half past one, we say that at quarter to two, we say that at 2 p.m., we say that at quarter past two, we say that at 2.30, we say that at quarter to three. Now, do you get what I'm saying? Because the law, the great law of the universe is good as long as you abide. For you, it, does, it doesn't mean it's not good if you do not um, abide by it. But it's good for you when you abide in that conscious awareness of this truth. Then you carry this truth in your awareness, in your everyday moments. And in your everyday moments of recognition, you are carrying that evidence and you will see the manifestation of the evidence operating out pouring out living itself in your everyday experience as overflow in your finance as health in your body as health in your mind as deliverance in your situation the fact that the Lord, the great law of the universe is, is, is good. Not was good, not shall be good, but is good. And we need to live in that flow, in the present moment, that the Lord, the great law of the universe is good. And knows, that's, that is the third part. The first part, the Lord is good. And by the way, we are talking from Nahum chapter 1 and verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. In the day of trouble, we need to have this as our stronghold. Stronghold is a, is a place that we feel safe. It's a, it's a sanctuary. Oh, yes. It's, you know, in the olden days, in the time of war, they had this place of sanctuary that you would go. It's built with it's so much I cannot even tell you how, how thick the cement was. And you go in there and you padlock that door, that iron door, and nothing could get through. Even the bombs, would, you would keep safe in that place. Well, here is a spiritual sanctuary. The word of God 
the word of truth is our sanctuary and it tells you the great law of the universe is good. Even in a day of trouble, it can become your hiding place. It can become your place of shelter, your place of safety. And make no doubt about it, the Lord, the great law of the universe knows those that trust in him. Yes, so trust in the Lord, the great law of the universe today. Stay present in this truth. Apply this truth in your situations this week. Apply that these words and this truth in your upcoming circumstances and be blessed. You have been listening to the Reverend Dr. Donisi Palmer here at LU Life Church. Leave us a thumbs up. Better still pass this on to help somebody. Pass this on to help somebody. And I thank you in advance for those of you who would leave, love to leave a love donation. You can do so by going in the description box below. You will find a PayPal link. It's very simple. It will say send. Um, you can just make your donations out there. Or if you go directly to the PayPal website yourself through Google, you can send your love gift to the email, which is lulifechurch at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you for listening.